A very good morning to all. Looking at important headlines from the Hindu newspaper for 17th Jan. On the front page you have India to invite Imran Khan for Shanghai Council meet. So this is regarding SCO that is Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So its annual summit is going to take place annual heads of government council meeting and this will be hosted by India in 2020 itself later in 2020 so here india has invited even pakistan prime minister imran khan for this meet because india and pakistan both are newly inducted members here so seo originally had earlier before india and pakistan joined in had six members now it has eight along with india and pakistan so it has major members are china and russia apart from the other former Soviet republics like Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan and Uzbekistan. So SCO itself was founded in 2001. And then there are observer states and dialogue partners who will also be there. So it was in 2017 that India and Pakistan both became full time SCO members at the Astana summit. Then here you have and this again one more point mentioned here is that India has invited Pakistan Prime Minister just hours after UN Security Council discussed the situation in Kashmir. So Pakistan has approached UN on the situation of in Kashmir in India and UN Security Council discussed the situation in Kashmir which has been raised the issue and after that India invited Pakistan Prime Minister here. And this is children are being radicalized in Kashmir. So this is General Vipin Rawat who says that we have de-radicalization camps going on in our country. So this is the statement he has made. He says these people can't still be isolated from radicalization in a gradual way. These people can still be isolated from radicalization in a gradual way. But there are people who have been completely radicalized. These people need to be taken out separately. So this is former army chief. Bipin Rawat and the newly appointed Chief of Defence Staff stated so. Then here you have 34,000 Guru refugees to be settled in Tripura. So Ministry of Home Affairs has signed a quad quadripartite agreement. So this is an agreement among the state governments between the central government, among the central government and state governments of Tripura, Mizoram and leaders of rural community. So they would be permanently settled uh, as such. These are internally displaced Guru people in Tripura. So they will be permanently settled. So you can see they are the second largest ethnic group in Mizoram. And their mass exodus took place in 1997 because of violent clashes as such. And now they are being permanently settled in Tripura only. So they were originally from Mizoram, they escaped to Tripura and now they will be settled in Tripura. Then this is no Supreme Court relief. Telcos have to pay 1.47 lakh crores. So the, the three judgments of the Supreme Court was hearing, uh, was, has dismissed the petition filed by telecom companies including Airtel and Vodafone Idea for review of its October 2019 uh, judgment which spoke on recovering the amount of 1.47 lakh crores from these telecom companies as dues to the government. So this is AGR, adjusted gross revenue case. So Supreme Court had upheld the taxation department's interpretation and the telecom companies had objected to it and we went for a review but Supreme Court has dismissed their petitions. And then this is Bengal to speak, skip MHA meet on census and NPR. So Union Home Ministry has convened a meeting to discuss the modalities for the 2020 census and the national population register. But uh, all states except West Bengal send their representatives. On page 9 you have Maluma risk may be higher among Indians than whites. So this is what cancer expert says. The myeloma basically is a type of bone marrow cancer. So, uh, uh, success in the last 15 years have been achieved in treating patients with myeloma, which has resulted in long, longer lifespans and better quality of life for such patients. So, here a study, more investigations required is what the cancer expert 
Dr. Vincent Rajkumar says, uh, to, ha any, to, ha to understand whether there is any predisposition need as such. So, like he says, Indians are more at risk to myeloma, bone marrow cancer. And then here you have invasive tests required to check structural safety of central vista. So, parliament building appears to be under stress. Even PM's home, office, I just said, have to be near to each other. So, now structural engineers have consulted for the center's redevelopment of central vista. And now they say invasive tests would be needed to be done to find out whether parliament house and north and south blocks are structurally sound or not. So, earlier it was said that central vista would be developed and it was said that old buildings would not be touched. The only new you know, structure would be established, the heritage buildings would stay. But now the, what is being spoken of is that there is a structural uh, security check which is required and if the structural security sets check says that buildings are not safe, so it will be paving the way for their demolition to so old buildings to be demolished to establish a new parliament house along the central and also other offices for ministries. So that is the plan, central vista. On the editorial page, the first editorial is talking of Kashmir. So, this is regarding UN Security Council discussing or you know the issue of Kashmir, the situation in Kashmir. So, India's stand is that the issue should not be inter internationalized. So, but then or, or this article says, this editorial says that to India's stand is fine, it should, does not want internationalization of Kashmir dispute, but it, less, it, it should at least engage with Pakistan. Otherwise, the dispute cannot be resolved. And second editorial is one cup too many. So this is regarding two national team events within six weeks of each other in men's tennis. So this is an overkill back to back matches. So that is discussed here. So these are international matches. And sports related news may not be so significant. Because questions have not been asked for years now. And the lead article is the perils of RBI's fixation on inflation. So, this is regarding RBI's shift of focus from financial stability to inflation targeting, which has been achieved through the Monetary Policy Committee. So, earlier RBI looked at all aspects, but Monetary Policy Committee established said RBI should look only at inflation targeting. So, the regulatory informality which has been seen and you know, the way the economy is suffering. So, this is, it says, because of this fixation with inflation that you should keep inflation under check. But there are other issues too which have to be given attention to. Then this is of Taiwan, Hong Kong and Chinese dreams. So election results show that in Taiwan and Hong Kong, uh, people favor two systems over one country, which Beijing insists on. So Hong Kong also protests are going on and after the newly elected leader in Taiwan, China has also raised its voice against countries congratulating uh, huh. Then on open page you have should celebrities avoid political activism? So this is regarding in the context of recent incident in which Deepika Padukone visited JNU campus showing her solidarity with students who had been attacked. So, the question being raised here is should celebrities avoid political activism? And here you have preventing mob lynching. So, this article says that center should specify penal action against officials and doctors accused of dereliction of duty too. Because officials, after mob lynching to officials, police officials also don't take the victim as such to hospital on time. Doctors do not treat on time. So, this dereliction of duty is also a concern which has been raised in this article. On page 12, you have India-Pakistan situation has affected Afghanistan. So, this is uh, former Afghan president, uh, Hamid Karzai, who has said that the unfortunate situation between India and Pakistan has impacted Afghanistan tremendously. Afghanistan has cordial relations with both India and Pakistan. 
but uh, how can both be brought together is a concern for it to bring stability in the region then you on page 13 you have students attacked at viswa bharati university so this is now in kolkata at least three students of viswa bharati university at santiniketan were beaten up inside the campus and students alleged that some 12 people from outside assaulted them with rods pipes and sharp objects also this is in the same context protests against citizenship amendment act were organized in, in this university to Vishu Bharati University in Santinik at Santiniketan in Kolkata. On international page, you have Senate opens Trump's impeachment trial. So now, upper house of uh, U.S. Congress, that is the name of the Parliament of U.S.A., has opened Trump's impeachment trial, and new evidence it says could bolster case against the president. As such. Earlier it was said that in upper house, lower house has already passed the impeachment regulation. But then uh, the upper house, the Senate has Republicans in majority. So it is expected, it was expected that they would not go against their own leader, Trump. But now it is said new evidence has also emerged. Then lawmakers approve Putin nominee. Mishustin as PM. So this is in Russia that uh, Mikhail Mishustin has been approved as Prime Minister of Russia based on the recommendation of President Vladimir Putin. He nominated him for the role. And here you have Taliban proposes brief, brief Afghanistan ceasefire. So it wants uh, this is a ceasefire being proposed by Taliban. And then a deal, peace deal can be negotiated, which would eventually allow US to withdraw its troops from Afghanistan. And this is China US sign initial trade agreement. So the two countries have been in a trade war which has affected economies globally. So now China and USA have signed an initial trade agreement. So in this, China has agreed to buy additional $200 billion worth of American farm products and services. Then on business page you have AGR plea dismissal may hit digital India. So this was front page news too that Supreme Court has dismissed the petition uh, by telecom companies to review the earlier verdict of the Supreme Court on October 24, 2019 where it had upheld the telecom uh, income tax department's interpretation of taxation dues that just did gross revenue AGR and telecom companies would have to pay huge amounts to government because of which it says that this may hit uh, digital India too. That how would they bring about digitization? How would they be able to function? If they hurt so badly when they are already under huge debt. So telecom companies are already under huge debt. They have taken loans. And this is unclaimed telco refunds to go into consumer fund. So Telecom Regulatory Authority of India has said that telecom service providers will need to deposit an unclaimed money of consume any unclaimed money of consumers including given excess charges and security deposits in the telecom telecom consumer education and protection fund this is what try has mandated then here you have this co-location case so you should know about national stock exchange co-location case so now regulator sebi has exonerated nine current and former officials of the exchange in this case but it says uh, that you know this it says sebi says that there's no misconduct in dark fiber issue which has been found so that is it these are the important headlines one more here is wakhat gets nod for drugs to treat superbugs so indian antibiotics market it is said to, is worth 16000 crores and now this approval has been given to work hard, which is based on phase 3 study involving 500 patients which it conducted for its new antibiotics. That is MROC4 and MROC0. MROC IV and MROC0. So this will be intravenous and this will be oral. So this is for acute bacterial skin and skin structure infections including diabetic foot infections and 
concurrent bacteria so that is it these are the important headlines for detailed coverage of current affairs you can visit our website ashr.com thank you